Welcome once again to another exciting edition of Cavsy Drinks. And by exciting, I mean dreadfully boring, as you watch a man drink. Why am I doing an introduction this time, whereas I've never done an introduction really like that before? I don't know. Nobody really knows. It's my birthday. <laughs> Seriously, I don't, don't have a clue. At any rate, beer tonight is what I promised to do a bit back, but did actually do last time. So this is Guinness Black Lager. Very standard bottle, and yet it seems like it tapers a bit more than your typical bottle, and it's darker than even your normal dark bottles. But then again, it's Guinness Black Lager. Lager. They're trying to get something across here, folks. This isn't normal. At any rate. So, Arthur Guinness signs his bottles, apparently, and replicates it on there. Um, genuine quality. Good. I'd hate to hate fake quality on here. Um, established 1759, St. James Gate, Dublin. Cold brewed with roasted barley. Mm-hmm. Just checking something on another bottle here. Curious about something. It's a little bit of a smaller bottle. That's what I was thinking. Um, it holds like 0.8 less beer than your typical beer bottle. Because this is 11.2 and most of them are 12 ounce bottles. Don't know what that means. Back label, Guinness Black Lager. Guinness Black Lager is cold brewed with roasted barley to deliver the refreshing taste of lager. The unique character of Guinness. Enjoy ice cold straight from the bottle. Arthur Guinness. Drink responsible, drinkiq.com. I'm not going to that website just this moment, so don't expect it. It also informs me it's beer www.guinness.com oh. Yeah, that's basically it for the bottle. You may remember me giving background information on Guinness from Guinness Extra Stout. So I'm just going to be doing a very basic about Guinness Black. Guinness Black is a black lager. Go figure. Being trialed in Northern Ireland... Okay, this might be slightly out of date because it's 2011 and this information is all from 2010. So I'm not sure if it's out of trial now or not. But in 2010, this was just a trial to see if people would buy this black lager. They tried a few beers before and they had it panned out. So this is something new they're trying. And I'm doing this with my hands for no apparent reason. There's going to be a lot of bizarre things in this video, I think. Um, it's famous. Guinness is famous for its dry stout, which originated in Dublin. Uh, the new product is to create new income. It is aimed at young men. <laughs> I'm 26 today. I'm still a young man. Who prefer chilled bottled lagers to pints of beer. Hmm. And is being sold in 330 milliliter bottles. For six to nine months in Northern Ireland as a test market in Europe. Like I say, I think this is all out of date. Um, it decided not to launch this in Ireland. 
due to a massive decrease in alcohol sales in that country. Alcohol consumption has dropped 2% from its all-time peak in 2001. 2001 was a good year for beer. Lager is being offered at selected bars and off-sale outlets in Northern Ireland. Launch will be accompanied by an advertising and marketing campaign which promotions in bar. It is a 4.5% strength brew and gets black color from the roasted barley added in it. Guinness has made several unsuccessful attempts to vary its brand in the past. As I mentioned before, these included Guinness Brio and Guinness Light. Both apparently failed. That's all the information I have, but might as well get on with it. As Mighty Blackman would say. Tonight, once again, going for the old trusty bottle opener on the pocket knife. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa, that's rich. Just that's just me inhaling note. Whoa. That's nice. That that's really rich, but nice. Mm. This is the kind of beer that it's like you stick something in it and it stands up straight. Mm. Good solid beer. Mm. That is a cheese curd beer. I don't even know if I want to pour it. But I should. Because, as a present to myself... Aww, that was the worst angelic choir ever. But yeah, I went out and got myself a mug. So we're mugging it. Oh my gosh, look at that bad boy go. My picture is that much foam. And rapidly decreasing. Mm. Oh yeah. That's good. Mm. Oh, I'm loving it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Shut up. Ow. Mm. Never mind. Um, yes, this is a bar beer in almost every sense I can think of it. I want cheese curds now. I want popcorn. I want that little thing of nuts they occasionally have sitting in a bowl where it's probably had a hundred fingers over it, but you're still going to eat them because freaking A, you need something to go with the beer. I don't have any. Mmm. That is a good, rich beer. Mm hmm Out of everything I've tried, I think I have a new favorite. Back 40 was my reigning favorite beer I've tried so far. So, yes, for those keeping track, that was the first beer I did in this series. And the last one has turned out to be the best. Oh, this is just so good. And look at that foam. This isn't die away foam. Most of the foams I've seen have died away really quick. This foam stays. It's solid. Mmm. Mmm. Probably a completely wrong glass for the beer. I don't care. This has been a good beer. Oh. I'm kind of going fanboy on this beer. It's just so amazing. This is a beer. Okay, at any rate, before this video game comes way too long, probably already is, but deal with it. Um, I don't have an next beer to show you, because um, that was the last one in the six-pack. So, until the next six-pack shows up, I'll just have to say, this has been Cassie, and go drink a good beer.